hello guys welcome back to appsheet tutorial so this is aditya here i have three plus years of experience in appsheet and i am a mobile application developer and i'm an entrepreneur and i do freelancing also so today video is how to loop make a loop function in appsheet so for example if you have multiple rows which you have to act on so for that you have to make a loop function right so for that we will use going to use the referenced action so which will act as a loop function so i will show a small demo how to create a loop function in app sheet so let's get started so before that uh, if you are new to this channel just subscribe and hit the bell icon and uh, follow me in instagram if you have any doubts we can discuss in instagram because i won't i won't see the comments much in youtube so just for, i will give the instagram link in my description so just follow and ask your doubts and uh, so this is our previous video which we have created the inventory app so if you are new to this channel i will just give the top link uh, top tag you can check the inventory app so we have created three parts and i will give the description link also so that with this app help i am going to show the loop function for in multiple rows to act on right so for this this is the data we have so here we have the inventory of products right so this we made it this as we made it as zero and uh, i'm going to create a function which has a quantity zero we will create a new sheet and we'll add this we'll remove this all this products who has the quantity zero which means we will archive this so archive is kind of backup thing which we won't use in future so just for backup we will just to keep track data we don't want this unnecessary zero quantity right so let's make a loop function so we we're going to check what are all the things which has zero quantity and we going to add this column here okay so same i'm copying paste this function and uh, yeah so now we are going to check the quantity which has zero and we are going to add it to here okay this archive sheet so let's add the sheet Tree management. Shipping is inventory. It's not coming. Second, we'll just refresh. We'll see. Oh, it's not coming. Sorry. it's different account i guess same only we'll just open newly uh, why it's not coming uh, this app sheet sometimes I'm going manually. Appsheet. Inventory management. 
I don't know why the search is not working. It's a Google problem or something. Let's add this table. Okay, I added the table now. We'll just check the table column once. So unique ID text and product text number. It's fine. Okay, so now I'm going to create one loop function. Okay, so let's create a new action called oh, what's a loop function to the inventory table. Okay, so here what we need to select is so execute an action on a set of rows okay and the reference table also will be the same inventory table so in the previous video you can see our reference table is different right so same like that this one so this will be the record of the table and the referencing is inventory right we are updating the inventory table but now we are going to run a loop function in the same table so that's why the record also for the table inventory and reference table also inventory so that the same loop will run for all these rows okay so the referencing rows we going to calculate based on the quantity so what are the row which is equal to zero less than zero right so that we going to archive this sheet right so for that formula will be columns so we have to fetch the unique id okay so if you are referencing this any if the reference rows should be every time the unique id of that particular table so i am selecting this i am selecting inventory unique id based on the quantity equal to zero okay so this will give the list of unique ids which are all quantity equal to zero and save and the action we have to create reference action okay so i now we created the loop and we have to tell what loop should done for those actions for those rows so they created a new action adding to archive right so this will be the same inventory table this action applies to the inventory table and the is to add a new row to another table using value from this row right so I am adding this inventory values to the archive and the unique ID will be unique ID product we will add this quantity date and this columns also same unique ID product the same value we are copying right so we will just add it quantity and then date okay. so now we added we copying to the same values and copying to archive table and this adding to archive we are going to run in the loop function adding to archive appearance will change loop okay I'll just select this loop function just to differentiate okay so now we'll try to run this loop function before that we'll just select this also zero And now we we'll just sync as so we change the value 0. I am selecting loop function and syncing. 
uh, saving if you see the particular values this is version 6.0 date and we are headset got copied here right so in this way you can run the loop function using the reference table and yeah i will just show another thing so we have if you want to delete also you can delete directly because you copied that and we don't want this here right so we will add the same fun additional function delete right okay so for that what we can do is so this reference action is adding to our case right so we can't add multiple actions to this single loop function and this is the loop function so we so what we can do is we can create a grouped action so let's say i'm going to create a grouped action so do this as grouped execute a sequence of actions okay so this we are applying to the same inventory okay adding plus runs yeah okay so first we will uh, adding to archive then we are deleting that so first we will add then delete because this sequence should be proper or else you can't first you shouldn't delete it you can't be able to add so this adding to okay then removing so which applies to the inventory right now instead of this so adding to okay plus removing grouped function we will do it i'll just delete this to okay now we can hide this unnecessary columns oh sorry not this one this one and this one and the side and i'm just clicking the loop function the short conform okay for delete it's asking confirmation so for this system actions if you see the inventory delete function so that is the existing system action so needs confirmation right so that's why it's asking confirmation okay so we don't want this confirmation so what we can do is so this is the systems delete function which invent for the inventory table which is already pre-generated i'll just remove this confirmation okay then i'll say it got added again we will delete it but this time it didn't delete it here because we have we have selected no now i'm just selecting the loop function and syncing so this time got deleted it is also got deleted and it got moved to this function right so in this way you can have a multiple use case for loop function so it will be very useful for your any other app developments if you want to do a sequence of actions in multiple rows so it's a kind of loop function right and in other way also you can do loop function uh, by writing the script uh, let's say in this in this so the automation bot using webhook you can write a script right so in this so run a task you have webhook so call a webhook so http you can but this is an advanced topic i will tell you later how you can do a loop function so you can tell the app by writing the http headers and the body json format you have to tell what thing you have to do in order to like add a 
multiple rows to the another table like that so it's a http function web book so in this way also you can write a loop function but this is a simpler way using the app sheet itself you can write a loop function okay so yeah that's it guys so if you like this video just like share and comment if you have any doubts and follow me on instagram if you got any doubts i can personally message you if i'm available okay guys thank you we'll see you in next video bye